cats are missing. They're broken. So I still sold it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about 28 bread and butter bolos, items I sold on eBay for a profit, items I sourced cheap from different places, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, the Goodwill bins, one of my favorite places to be. I have tons of videos where I show you how I dig in the bins for these small toys and other items that I sell for a profit. Definitely check out some of my Goodwill Goodwill Benz videos. Um, I think you'll really enjoy them. I also pop up screen shares of how I listed everything as you watch them. So it's educational. All right. In this video, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or left. less. I call these my bread and butter bolo videos. All right. Thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And we're going to get started. The first item, speaking of the Goodwill bins, I dug this out of the Goodwill bins. I thought it was super cute. It's a little Tigger plush scrunchie. It's a hair thing. Turns out it's a pretty hard to find item. So I listed it and put it on sale and somebody made me an offer of $15 plus shipping and I went ahead and took that. So great little find on that. Probably had about 50 cents in it. Paw Patrol Mighty Pups Jet Replacement Mini Jet. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents and I sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this Jelly Cat Marty the Moose. He is a nine inch plush. If you guys don't know about Jelly Cat, definitely get to know this brand. Let me show you a tag here, maybe. This is the Jelly Cat brand. Definitely be on the lookout. Some of them can go for crazy money. I have a video that talks about Jelly Cat that go for big money. A lot of them are bread and butter. This one sold for $13.64 plus shipping, and I got it from the Goodwill bins. This one came from the free plush that I got from a viewer. She reached out to me. She lives close, and she said, if you come get all this plush tomorrow, you can have it all free. And I'm like, okay, I'll figure it out. Uh, this little raccoon is from Animal Jam, and this sold for $9.30 plus shipping. And I will link um, her eBay store down in the description of the video. Go show, show her some love with a follow. This also came out of the Goodwill bins, and I cannot believe it was in as good of condition as it was. There was one little area that was chipped on this flower, but overall, it looked pretty good. And I got this probably for pennies because it weighs next to nothing. Sold it for $15.50 plus shipping, and it sold really quick. The brand is 1928, and I do really well with 1928 jewelry. Disney pins. These came from a garage sale a long time ago. They were long tail. So somebody bought this one and this one. They paid $24.78 for both of them. And um, yeah, it's just the two here. Yeah, I'm sorry, $24.78 plus shipping for both of these. The next item is this Transformers Rescue Bots Play School, C Play School Hero. Oh my goodness. Boom. Let's try again. Play School Heroes, Fire Plug Dalmatian Dog, and Gas Pump. I had to use Google Lens to figure this one out. I paid 25 cents for this at a thrift store and I like a little toy bundle. Took a best offer of 15 plus shipping. This is a ladder from Marks, a Marks of Navarone set. It is a Navarone mountain play set. I parted this bad boy out and made probably between five and $700 on all of the items that I parted out. It was an incredible find. If you wanna see more details, I do have some videos out on this particular item. I got this probably by the time I parted it out, this probably cost me 10 cents. I paid $2 for the entire set. It was an amazing find at a garage sale. Sold this for $33.48 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this SL Home Fashions Plush Elephant. It is a security blanket. I picked this up in a wholesale lot. Wholesale is basically a platform where you can sell your inventory in bulk. And it's really kind of geared towards resellers selling to other resellers. So if you have a huge money pile and you just want to move some stuff quickly in bulk to other people, 
you can use wholesale. There is a link down below. If you use that link to join, you are going to get a $10 credit. Um, you can also buy on wholesale for things to flip. And I bought a box of, it was all plush, but a lot of the items were like loveys and toys like this. This one item actually sold for $20 plus shipping. I had it on sale, but my sale ended and somebody bought it at full price of $20 plus shipping. My cost of goods was $1.68 for this. This Memorex Light Scribe DVD set, I got at the Goodwill Bins and I sold this for $19.50 plus shipping. I picked these up a lot and they do pretty well for me. So uh, they are a little bit heavy, but they sell. So I buy them. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. These are the turtle shell covers from Lego. Um, I got these from a thrift store in a Lego lot. And I have the unboxings of those Legos over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I will link it down below. But I have two unboxings. So if you guys like Legos and want to see me dig through all of these Legos, definitely go check those out on my other channel. This is an Esther O'Hara clay woman holding a baby and she doesn't have a face. I picked this up at the Goodwill Benz and it's signed on the back right here and it sold really quickly. I did take a best offer of $12 plus shipping. This is an Avery mini binder filler paper. Um, I ended up selling two of these to one person for $23.40 plus shipping. I have three left. I've sold three. These came from an estate. And I've got probably less than a buck in all of them. I love it because it's multi-quantity. I list one item and then they just keep selling. This also came from that Lego lot. So you'll see this in that unboxing. And one of them, there's two unboxings. This ended up selling for $17 plus shipping. It is a Lego black bear. I was really surprised at how um, good the comparables were on these. But I also had this little additional set, which made my listing stand out from the others. Um, I think I said I took a best offer of 17 plus shipping on that. This is a needles and hoops stamped cross stitch sampler kit, child's prayer. Sold this for a best offer of 15 plus shipping and it came from an estate sale. This is Superbook Miracles of Jesus DVD and it is sealed. And um, this one came from, I believe the Goodwill Bins, but don't quote me on that. I always pick up uh, sealed DVDs when I find them if I can get them cheap. They do sell. Are they long tail? Most of the time, yes. But this one sold pretty quickly for $14.26 plus shipping. Vintage Halloween bats. These are blow molds and two of the bats are missing. They're broken. So I still sold it. And some of the wings were broken as well. And I still sold it. Broken items do sell. I paid $3 at the Goodwill for this and I sold it for $31 plus shipping. The next item is this Stay Tight Clasp Hair Clip. Um, this one was not signed goodie, um, but I do think that it is goodie, but I just put unsigned and did not put goodie in the title. I ended up selling it for $12.40 plus shipping. Scentsy, Buddy, Scentsy Baby Buddy Patch Dog, and it's a St. Bernard. Look how cute he is. And I think, does he have a clip on him? No, maybe this one doesn't. I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. The next item is this Hallmark the Hulk vs. Ultron Avengers Age of Ultron 2015 ornament. This came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box and I took a best offer of $12 plus shipping on this. VeggieTales double feature DVD Easter Carol Twas the Night Before Christmas Easter. Again, this is new and sealed. Can't remember where I got it. Sold it for $9.29 plus shipping. The next item are these Stabilo, Stabilo, not sure how to say that, Carbothello colors, chalk pastel colored pencils. Missing two, I got this out of the Goodwill bins and I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping and they sold super fast. This is a DMC embroidery cotton floss. Um, I bought a whole bunch of this at an estate clean out and um, oh my goodness, just tons and tons. I still have a bunch that's not listed, but I decided to put them in lots of 12. And so far I'm doing pretty good. I have a lot of different colors listed. Each color has a number on it. So I made sure I put that in the title. I sold this for $11.16 plus shipping. 
This is the Bart Simpsons World of Springfield radio station figures, Bill and Marty. I bought, gosh, it's been probably three or four years ago, a whole bunch of Simpsons items from a thrift store. And if you guys haven't heard this story, if you've been here a while, you've heard this story, but it was all of these little um, like house things and then the characters. And I'm like, I am not messing with the houses. And my husband's like, you should really, really uh, consider putting the people with the right like compartment. Like this is the radio station. And I'm like, no, I don't have time to do that. I'm not doing that. So he went through and he did that for me. And that was so nice. And I am so glad that he did because I made so much more money. Most of these flew out of my store for some reason. This one's been hanging around. Um, I think I have one left and made tons and tons of money on these. It was a super, super score. I can't remember what I paid for all of it, but it was not much. I ended up taking a best offer of 25 plus shipping on this one. The next item is this Marty Lou O'Kelly folk artist, hardback, uh, hardcover, Maddie O'Kelly sealed, oh, sealed broken, but it's still sealed. I don't normally do books, but this was sealed. I got it from an estate, so I went ahead and listed it. It sold really quickly for $14 plus shipping. Lego, or I'm sorry, these are not Lego. These are Mega Blocks and they're SpongeBob. And I got these out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold these for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. This is a Mary Inglebright iron on stick on applique patch cherries. And this is just a major bread and butter, but I sold it pretty quickly for $6.50 plus shipping. And I think this was also a part of that estate clean out. This is a tummy stuffer's dog plush. It's a stuffed animal. And let me show you how it works. You open its mouth and you can put stuff inside of it. Kind of crazy, right? And I got this out of a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. Actually, Noel Farm Girl Scavenger gifted me a $50 plush lot. So Noel and I went, um, we did like a collab where she came onto the show and we unboxed it. So definitely check out that video. This item sold for $14.30 plus shipping. So Noelle, thanks again for the support. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, that was 28 bread and butter bolos. Um, I did mention some people in the video. I will link them all down below. Uh, check out the descriptions of the video. Uh, my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. Um, I've got those Lego unboxings. If you guys like Legos, definitely check that out. And as far as the Legos go, I listed some, I made my money back and now they're just kind of all sitting. I'm very guilty of buying Legos, putting them in a tote and saving them for later, but I cannot pass up Legos. I would call myself a Lego hoarder, except for the fact that like, I have no attachment to them. I just can't find the time to ever part them out. Like a lot of mini figures that, you know, you have to figure out which head goes with which body and Oh, who has time for that? Not me. Not right now. Um, anyway, uh, I may end up selling them by the pound eventually, but for now they're great for replacement parts. If I get a complete set, that's only missing a few items. I have been able to go through my Legos and find those replacement pieces and make the set complete. So that's another thing you can do. Also down in the description, I've got lots of resources for things that I use for my business. Most of them are referral links or affiliates and you get something when you join with those links and so do I. So if you use those links or uh, codes, that definitely helps me and I appreciate it very, very much. So thank you again for checking those out in the description of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching.